So today we're going to be learning how to connect your GoDaddy domain name, which you're going to be buying in this tutorial, uh, to your Weebly uh, portfolio. So first go to GoDaddy.com to search for a URL that you like. I'm going to be using KatherineMcDermott.com today to see if it's available. So I'm just going to enter it in the search bar here and then click search domain. So it looks like KatherineMcDermott.com is available. If it isn't, I would have just gone in and tried to look for a different URL. Once you find one that is available and that you like, click Select and then Continue to Cart. I won't worry about this information just because for the project that we're working on right now, it doesn't really matter whether you have an email or a web host. So I'd go to the bottom and click Continue to Cart. Now once I'm at this page, you can see that the term is set automatically to five years, which costs you $73.85. If you don't really want one for that long, which I don't recommend, I'd set it to one year so that the price goes down to $13.17. Proceed to checkout. Um, if you want a cheaper deal, you can always go online and search for a coupon. So you can search go.8.com, $0.99. And they'll usually have a sale going on for 99 cent domains for up to a year. I'll just go to one of these websites, copy and paste the code, or even just click on it, and it'll lead you straight back to your um, to GoDaddy.com. Then you can just click Check Out Now, and it'll lead you back to your cart. As you can see, the price has gone down to a dollar and 17 cents. If you're satisfied with the price, go to Proceed to Check Out. Since I already have an account, I'm just going to sign in, but if you're a new customer, you can click Continue under New Customers. Once you do that, just fill out your billing information, and once you buy the domain, you're all set. Once you fill out all the billing information and buy your domain, you can then go to your account under my account and under quick links click manage my domains click on the URL that you just bought KatherineMcDermott.com for example it'll take you to this page right here go to DNS zone file sometimes it won't be available but it should be right after you buy your domain after 48 hours if it still isn't available I'd call customer service you need this page in order to connect your domain to your website. Go to Weebly.com. Sometimes I like to log in with your, my Facebook. Other times I'll just log in with my email address. Either way, log in to Weebly. Click on the website that you made. If you go up to Publish, you'll have an option to buy a domain off of Weebly. It's much more expensive to do it this way, but you can do it if you want to. As you can see, KatherineMcDermott.com is already taken because I just bought it on GoDaddy.com. I'm going to go to Settings and click Change under Site Address and go to the very bottom option that says Connect a Domain You Already Own and enter in KatherineMcDermott.com and click Continue. You'll get instructions on how to change the DNS settings in order to connect connect your domain. Basically what you want to do is go here and copy this code, the one that says points to, and go back to the tab where you have your DNS settings. Go to your A host, which is indicated by the at sign, and change what it points to, the address that it points to, that's already automatically there, to the one given to you by Weebly and click finish. Be sure to save your changes. After that, you can publish your website. You'll be given this URL that you just bought. You can click on it to make sure that it points to the website that you want. As you can see, it worked.